You all right? You feel all right? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, everything's dragging my face. It's dragging <laughs> my face down, so I look sad. <laughs> Morning, folks. We're uh, trying something new. Got a little bit of point of view shot going on. You can see Luke is over there with his point of view camera. Maybe this doesn't do what we want, but we're going to try it. We're going to figure it out. Um, working on a Cobra engine today. I have already pulled the crankshaft out and turned down the shaft because it didn't fit my clutch. It's had a really wide shaft and I couldn't find a clutch that would fit it. So I just turned it down, put, cut a new keyway in it. this crankshaft if you look in here I, I was able to pull the crankshaft out of the motor without pulling the heads that's just an extra step that I didn't want to go through so I fished it out beside the rods and now it's time to go back in but first I'm gonna clean this oil pan area out because it's got some pretty nasty grit some pretty nasty grit stuff in it so we're gonna clean that out and then we'll try to fish the uh, crankshaft back in. The problem is I don't want these, yeah, these falling out. So I may have you Kinda hold old. your hand in there. There's four of them. There's two more down there. Then we'll tip it up. Oof. Hang on. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Tip it up, and I'll spray it out right quick. Yep, that burns. Is it cold too? No, the cold's not the problem. Brake park cleaner is pretty cool because it's cold and it burns at the same time. Well, it's just misting me, so I'm not getting the full-on effect of the cold, but I do have a couple of little scratches and cuts on my fingers, and that kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just says it causes cancer in lab rats in California. I'm That's not a lab only, rat in California. Only so. in California does right. do that. So. And, and I'm not a lab rat. So. All right, let's tip her back over. <clears throat> There we go. A lot more cleaned out than she was. Yeah, see that little bobo right there? And Ow! Okay. We made a mess on my floor. And table. And table. I wonder if that's going to eat your table apart. Ow, oh, probably. Okay. I mean, the table's not in the best of shape of its life, but, you know. Before we do that, I'm going to go wash my hands, and then I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put some lube on those rods, because you don't want them dry. No. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got some Lucas Oil Assembly Lube here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit on these rods, and we'll put a little bit on the crankshaft. Guess so everything's got a little coat of oil. This is not the proper way to rebuild an engine. Trying to get this going so I can get a second mower going. This was a used engine. It looks like it's in pretty decent shape. All the journals feel good. Get a little lubrication on them. Now, this is going to be probably tedious. So y'all just have to bear with me for a while. I'm going to lift this up. Barrett, can yep. you hold that up mm -hmm. right there? I'm going to hold this one up. Drop yours down a little. There you go. Oh, dude, that's almost it. Yeah, except I don't think. All right, that oh, one's yeah. going. Is that the right way around? It is the right way around. Well, whoop de do. Watch my finger. He squished my finger. You need your fingers? I don't want it smushed. You got nine others. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you're a funny guy. Tell him, Lucas. He's got nine others. Push this rod down uh -huh. while I roll it around okay. because I got to get this to the bottom yeah. pretty much. And we got to keep the rods on your, your hands right in the way. Why? Well, you can't see what you're doing. I'll get both of them. Let's go. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Here. All right. A little bit of time. All right. Let's put these on. Remember which one's your inner and outer? Yeah. The bottom one's two and the top one's one. Before we put that one on, Lucas, I'm going to torque these down because them's got a torque spec. Oh, yeah. And it's not German torque. You know what German torque is? 
good and tight. <laughs> the torque spec for these rods are 100 inch pounds. So I got a 10 millimeter bolt here. We're going to torque these. Click, click. Now we can put on the second rod. Put a little goo goo on them. That's a technical term, goo goo. And get in here where y'all can see. I'm looking. Yeah, there. get in there, Barrett. All the way in there. Put my nose there in. There you go, Lucas. He did it. I'm noticing the back of your light here says tear up invalid. I'm going to probably not send them back, so they were cheap. When it gets tore up, I'll throw it away. Yep, this is tore up. That's valid. <laughs> it's valid now because it no longer works. That's a pretty decent little light. Got oh, it yeah. off Amazon. I got a four pack for like 40 bucks. Torque these to 100. Click. There you go. Click. We're good to go. All right, now we need to pull the valve covers off so we can pull the push rod, not the push rod, yeah, the push rods out so then I can get the lifters to go back where they need to go and we can put the cam in. That looks like eight millimeter bolts. So let me find my eight millimeter socket. Here we go. There's an eight millimeter. What in the heck? Oh, crud. I'm going to need new O rings because it broke the did Dang it. There's your mark here for your cam. Let's spray this cam off. We'll put some assembly lube on these journals. Then we drop her on in there, making sure our. Ah! Except that's one tooth off. See there? Yeah. So we need to go. That's one tooth off the other way. Right there. That's where you want it. So you line dot to dot. Yep. All right. Now, we can stand this up. Now nothing's going to fall out. We can stand the whole motor up. Oh, oh, there's still that thing under it. There we go. And we can put the push rods back in. Good grief. Look at that. How'd that get bent? How'd that get bent? And it's a long process. Two Lucas? hours of video to get, you know. You want to do me a favor, Lucas? Yeah. Yeah. Get some more over there. Mm, perfect. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted. That's the one I need now, and that's what I will need later. Ugh, I need to clean that out. I don't think I got any more of the brake cleaner. What's that? Empty. Why are you keeping all these empties around? I don't know. That's what we need a sponsor of. A brake cleaner sponsor? Yeah. Yeah. Just had cases of brake cleaner show up. Uh huh. Should they get used? All right. Where's the. Oh, you already opened it up for me. Come on, look at you. You're staying out ahead of you. Telling you, that boy doing a good job. So here's how I like putting this stuff on. People think you gotta goop it on like tremendously. You don't. All you need is a very thin layer. Now they machine these blocks so where it's good enough that, I mean, they almost seal without any sealant. You'll need some, but you, you don't need much. Just enough to adhere the two surfaces. Together. That's right. I'll show y'all. That should be plenty. But then I go back around it with my finger and just rub it in. That gets the entire surface. Just give you a little layer over the entire surface. Because what you don't want is a bunch of gasket material squishing out inside of your of your, your lock sump. Yeah. You don't want that. So you just put a little layer. That's all you need. Ah, and if you get it on or it's inside, wipe it off. Yep, yeah, right there. I got some here. All right. That right there. Watch, watch, when I spin this really fast, these are going to fling out and push that pin up. Watch. Called your governor. That pushes on a rod in here. This rod right here. Put the light on there, Matt. You see that rod? See that right there? That governor pushes on there, and then it controls your throttle inside. So when your speed gets too fast, it pulls throttle out of the, out of the carburetor. It slows it down. Slows it down. That's how that governor works. And this is your oil pump. This pumps oil, pulls it from here, and then pumps it inside your motor. Uh, that's your oil pump. Kind of neat that. You can do away with the governor, but you don't want to do away with the oil pump. Motor won't last real long. Yeah, it's run for a short, short amount of time. Let's pull it off. See what the problem is. That bearings. Not centered. It's good now. It is now. It might be. Might be catching on that. Well, so isn't this what supposed to be behind your? Huh. I wonder if that's the problem. And then stand that back up. Stand her back up. Can we get back to the edge of the table a little bit? I think that's what I think that bearing's what's screwing you up. It's like I need one more step to go over. Oh, you're killing me with that light. I'm trying to let people see what we're doing. <laughs> Sorry, just blind me, though. It's <laughs> yeah, right. it's fine. You don't need to see. I don't need to know, know what's going on. <laughs> gonna turn it again so everything's binding. Yeah, let's turn it and see what happens. Oh, she runs. She rotates free. 
good to go. Lovely. All right. Well, I got to get parts before I can put it back together. We well, can fun. run it without that. Pour oil everywhere? Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather not. Well, fling oil all over the shop? I'd rather not. Okay. Click. 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 You know what he's doing, right? Click. Click. Did the little torque wrench? Click. 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 Torque. Good to go. Torque. How important are those O-rings to have? Oh, for this? Yeah. It keeps all the oil from pouring out on the ground. Yeah. Because oil comes up into your top end to lubricate your rockers and stuff. And all that oil without that O-ring would just pour out of here onto the... It would be dribbling oil all the time. Yeah, it'd be bad. <laughs> well, but see, these tops have a groove for that O ring. All right, then. Cool. It's put together. Even well, though we, semi, we can't run it. Let's wash our hands and then we can fix another problem on it. Okay, what's the other problem? The flywheel. The magnets have come loose on the flywheel. Oh. So we need to JB weld them back in. Okay. So what we're going to do. We're going to re-glue these magnets back into this flywheel. So we're going to clean the flywheel up, and then we're going to clean the back of the magnets up, and then we're going to JB weld them in. All right, here we go. Let's hit it with a little spray. Oh, look at all that rust. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Maybe this will be Lucas's mower, and I won't have to mow no more. I do, except for, for the... For the breathing and the dust and stuff. Yeah, this one's in two parts. It's not supposed to be. But it's alright. It still works the same. Let me explain to y'all how this works. These magnets have north and south poles on each end of the magnet. It'll be north-south, 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 north-south. When they're glued into the flywheel, they spin with the flywheel because they're glued to the flywheel. Now, if you walk over here with me to the back side of this motor... This is called your stator. Those magnets sit right around the outside of this stator. So when you start the engine, the flywheel is turning. The magnets are turning around this stator. It, part, it imparts an electrical charge into the stator. And then it's an it's a AC charge. So it's AC electricity. But then your voltage regulator turns it into a DC charge, which can charge your battery. So that's what's happening here. These magnets have a bad problem about coming loose and then they'll stick to the stator. And a lot of times it can tear your stator up. So when I pulled this flywheel off, all the magnets were stuck to the top of the stator. They were not touching the flywheel. It broke this magnet here, but that's the only problem. It looks like my stator is good. So we're going to re-glue these magnets, but you have to make sure they're re-glued in the same configuration. You want it north-south, north-south, all the way around. Because if you put like a north-south and then a south-north, you're not getting as much magnetism going into your stator. So that's why you want them like that. What you do is you just mix you up some JB Weld, re-glue your magnets in, and then you'll let it sit for 24 hours or so. You want to put the same amount. Yep, equal parts. Equal parts. And then put your cap back on so you can save it. That looks pretty equal. Then you get you a mixer that you don't care about. And you just start mixing it around. And when it's all an even gray color, you're good to go. There you go. Now, we're going to start here. It doesn't really matter where you start. Barrett, can you get one of those? You got you. you are waiting on me. Waiting on me. All right. I'm going to put this one about half on. Go ahead and clamp that in. All right. Now we'll get the next one. Let's put these all the way around and then we'll clamp them in. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I think that'd be a little bit better idea. I may have to mix up a little bit more. JB, JB Weld. Can you mix me a little more, Barrett? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. What? You screwed up. You ain't got no way to clamp that little piece. Well, we can do this, though. Watch. You want to rearrange them? Yep, you can slide them over like this. There you go. All right, let's clamp them up. You want to get them all the right height. There you go, Lucas, put that last one on.
Oh. Yeah, open it bigger. Here, let me have it. Let me have it. You can't see what you're doing. You squished it down. That's all right. All right. It didn't hurt nothing. It didn't hurt nothing. That JB Well takes a while to dry. That's why we like it. They have some fast drying. Yes, they do. And it works great, but the problem is, is that you don't, you can't always rearrange your stuff. All right. So that's how that's you glue back in magnets on the flywheel. I've done it five or six times. It works pretty good. Never had a problem with them coming back off. There you go. And then when you're done, you got this nifty little stick here. And if you let it dry, then there'll be a stick stuck to a piece of cardboard. But I always like to leave it sitting there because you know if that's cured, this is cured too. Today I want to share a passage from Psalm 25, 4 and 5. It says, Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you're God my Savior and my hope is in you all day long. That talks to me about about your prayer life. And often, I don't know about y'all, but I definitely get kind of bogged down with the same prayer. You know, you, you want to ask Lord to protect your, your wife and your child. And uh, I always ask him to, you know, watch over them and watch over me and help me to do your work. Help me to figure out how to talk to people and possibly bring people to you to God you know through Jesus and while that's a I feel like it's a good prayer I don't like it getting just stagnant where I do that night after night I think that you know he definitely hears us and it's it's good to have something that you pray for every day but also you know you, you can talk to God like he's your friend or he's your father which he is you know he wants the best for you and anything that you have going on during the day just reach out to him and while you're thinking at night about what's going on just talk to him in a normal conversational tone that's how you that's how you get to know people and the lord's the same way that's how you get to know him and he will he's never <laughs> answered me <you laughs> know, audibly <laughs> audibly but uh but I mean, you do get answers. Oh yeah, you you do get answers that way. So uh, you know, just just try it out if if it's something that makes sense to you, and uh, the Lord listens to you, and He will answer prayers. All right, guys, we love you. We hope you have a great day. We just finished up this engine, and uh, well, not finished it up. We've gotten as far as we can get. Without I got parts. A, I got to order a couple of parts, a couple of gaskets and, and stuff. But uh, it's always parts. <laughs> soon we'll be throwing it back on the mower. We love you. God bless you. See y'all later. God bless. <laughs>